Peace, it's your girl Jenny, and today we have another summer try on haul. Today we are featuring everyone's favorite it girl, Matilda Durf. If you guys don't know who Matilda Durf is already, she is the queen of blowouts. She is from Sweden and she is so gorgeous. I've never seen her hair miss a step online. And then she also pretty much brought the trend of like the button up shirts to especially Gen Z and like the whole realm of social media but from my own research I did read that a lot of like the Swedish fashion is really Swedish fashion is really minimal and a lot of the women there just wear a button up so I guess she was just influenced from her home country but we're just gonna get to talking about everything I liked all the items that I bought and which pieces I'm gonna keep and which pieces I'm gonna return because a couple of these items are a little bit expensive. We're just gonna get talking about and trying on all the clothes that I got from Durf Avenue. But before we get started, please make sure to click the subscribe button and ring the post notification bell so you never miss another video from me, which comes out every Friday. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Okay, so you guys know I like to keep it honest on here, so this is gonna be a really unabashed um, haul of if Durf Avenue is worth it or not, but I just wanted to show you guys the packaging it came with So it's just a little packaging with tissue paper because there's supposed to be a more sustainable option I'm not sure whether all of the options are sustainable to kind of explain the price point of these items Okay, so reading more into it, it seems like everything is manufactured ethically in Portugal and here are some of the sustainability factors she lists, but I do really like that they are trying to create a minimalist capsule wardrobe. For the first items that we're going to try out, um, this is the little cloud set. I purchased the cardigan and the pants set. They're both $149. So we're going to try this on. Already, I can just tell that the pants is a little bit see-through. Um, so I don't really like the fact already. And the sides don't have any pockets with one fake pocket right here. I really just can't stand these fake pockets in women's clothing because they're honestly just because they are way cheaper to make. But we're gonna try this on and see how they look on us. Okay, so this is the first outfit that I got from Dark Avenue. This is a little cool cardigan. It is a slip material. I don't think it's silk at all, but this is like you know, kind of giving you like track star vibes, but like classy lady version. There's like one button on this top. When you button it, it just kind of looks like this. And I feel like it's a really nice summer cardigan just to have something on top. And you can pair this with like skirts, jeans, literally everything. And I feel like it can go when summer is over. Even like a little brooch, brooch pin will be really cute like that too. But I feel like I ended up just getting this just because it was really different. I might keep this. Pretty sure I'm gonna keep the top. But the pants is a little bit of a different story. So if you guys have been following the trend recently, everyone and their moms are wearing white, long, oversized pants. So obviously I wanted to get in the trend, so I got these as well. And these are the same material as the top. But the only thing about this is that since it's the same material as the top, I wish they just lined the pants because that would have just solved everything. Um, obviously, it wouldn't have created the drape like this, but I feel like a lot of like stuff like this, it is lined. Or they use a thicker kind of material because this material honestly is not the most like nice or regal material and I would skip on these pants honestly. As you guys can tell, it's the tag, right? When I add that in, you could kind of see the white tag and that's basically a no-no when it comes to white clothes on the bottom. I really wish they just made this another material because these pants are see-through but super gorgeous so if you guys want to wear these for pajama pants you know totally fine but $150 for pants that are see-through outside I would skip on these pants and they're probably gonna get returned but this cardigan it is super cute and, and you don't really need anything to match honestly you're gonna end up having so many white pants after this season anyway so I would just get the cardigan and skip out on these pants and this is the second look I just changed the top it is one of like those tie tops that you just kind of tie to your liking and this is she I really like this top because kind of gives you 
some color in my wardrobe and also just like this blue icy color it's been like my favorite color all year long i think she does have this available in black also just wanted to mention that i really like that she only gives you like a couple of options it's really that limited paint marketing but also just being a little bit more sustainable so you don't create all these massive pieces that people just kind of want to just treasure in their closet so i really like that she's going about like the essentials kind of closet wardrobe because we all like capsule wardrobes around here and this is the Thai tank top in the color blue or baby blue and this is in the size x small as you guys can see i'm pretty small in like my top portion of my body or i'm just kind of small everywhere no. you're gonna see that this top kind of fits perfectly but i would have to say any any smaller than my shoulders right here and end up showing more cleavage than you probably wanted to but i would definitely keep this shirt because it is just a little bit more different um i think they do have a matching long skirt when it comes to this so if you guys want to buy that put that in your cart but yeah i feel like i end up liking these pants way better because i have my heels on but what bag i wear is my little Balenciaga and there she is, super cute. I will definitely get this top. She also has it again in black if you guys are looking for one of the color. But I would definitely say buy this top. Super cute to rock with in the summer. And I love that she just gives you like all these cuts in the middle. It's like minimal and also kind of conservative clothes if you think about it. But just like putting like these slits in in the middle of our clothes like it just makes it super edgy and a little less like mom wear and more like clean girl attire in 2022 okay and moving on to my favorite outfit from this whole haul is my third outfit or fourth so we have a little white t-shirt and this khaki cargo pants so we're going to talk about this t-shirt first because even though it is a simple t-shirt the quality of this t-shirt is so nice and thick honestly i've definitely felt some like sustainable t-shirts from like everlane and those um sustainable completely sustainable companies but i would have to say this might be my favorite shirt because of how kind of thick it is and it fits well the fabric is super nice so i think i am going to have to try out their long sleeve to see if it's the same material but this one is in the size x small because i wanted it like really tight on me at the top and i feel like if you kind of just like bring it up you can just use it as a crop top um so it's really versatile and nice to have in your closet. I don't know why I hit my stomach like that, but um, if you pull the shirt down, it is um, kind of a longer length, so it's super versatile. You know, if you want to make it a crop top, you can just, you know, scrunch it up, and if you want to wear it because like your tummy hurts or something, you can just bring it down. Time to move on to these pants. So these are the sporty pants in the sand color, and this is in size small for the pants. Um, I just ended up getting a size small instead of X small, just so I can make it a little more oversized, but just know a lot of Dorf Avenue's clothing are a little bit, like kind of like Aritzia sizing. They're a little bit bigger, like one size above what I wear, but they are also European, so it's very understandable. But this pants is the most expensive item on this haul. This is $159, but I swear to God, worth your penny. These are very comparable to a lot of like, the Lululemon sporty cargo jeans and literally other higher end brands that I felt. These cargos honestly come pretty close. That kind of already has the wrinkle attire. And I love the fact that it is super low rise, but also you can control it because it has a tie here. So you can either keep it higher, but if you want to be a little more trendy, you can just leave it out. You know, oversized things is the way to go but these pants actually have pockets so i wish and i hope they make a white version of this because i don't think it's gonna even be see-through compared to the slip version of this so like so pretty so on trend i would definitely recommend you to get these because they have pockets everywhere and also i think this logo part right here is super cute like if you know, you know about Durf Avenue. I think I'm gonna end up keeping 
all of this. But what do you guys think? Should I keep this? Should I return this? I would definitely say though a white t-shirt is a necessity in my closet because I don't know about you guys, um, I sweat a lot so white t-shirts stain easily. But yeah, we're going to see how this one holds up because it's thick. I love these pants, don't want to take it off. But we have another skirt option so we're going to just change into that and talk about our last outfits. Okay, so I lied. This was not the last outfit because I have another shirt to wear and it did not look that cute with this outfit so we're just gonna talk about this skirt okay, so i ended up getting the must-have mini skirt in gray in size small and i'm so glad i did because it is a little bit not too snug and i didn't want a skirt that was not stretchy that was like super tight on me so i'm glad i did and this skirt was actually 99 dollars, but i don't know i don't know if this skirt is really giving but it is definitely a classic skirt but I do have a lot of these and this kind of does give me like a newspaper boy, newspaper girl, school girl aesthetic. Definitely, I feel like this skirt is not really worth it. It is double line, but you can just tell with the seams, they're like not the nicest TBH. I mean, it is straight obviously, but the seam work is giving Zara. So definitely don't think I'm gonna keep this skirt so we're not gonna talk about it any further because it's probably my least favorite after the see-through pants. Oh, also though, it is one thing I do like though is the zipper component, so very handy. And finally, this is our last outfit. I just wanted to show you guys this little button-up shirt that I think is super cute. It has this little cutout that I was talking about Literally, she just has these like cutouts all over her clothes and really just amplify that this type of clothes is not just for like moms. Like I know a lot of people say this is like mom attire, you're growing up so much, you know, but I feel like this is just super nice to have in your closet just to build a capsule wardrobe. So whether you're like 20, 16 or you're 29, you still have pieces that you could tie into like trendy items and then these pieces are that um, but besides the pants that I keep talking about I really like this button up because it is one of the classic blue colors and I think I was missing this like darker almost not like white blue but like the true oxford blue shirt um, I didn't have it in my closet so I wanted to put it on I do notice that she does button like third or fourth one only and just like lets it airy and I've definitely seen in her wear this outfit like exact outfit <laughs> on numerous occasions so I'll probably be rocking this look but definitely we'll be keeping these pants and I just need to know what did you guys think I need to return I feel like I should be returning these pants. Maybe this cardigan. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and trusting my fashion recommendations. You guys are going to be in for a lot of surprises through the next few weeks about what content I'm going to put out there. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, ring the post notification bell, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! So, Motolo Durf, Durf Avenue, worth it or not? Mostly worth it. <laughs>